All right, guys. So today's video is going to focus on how do we find the circumcenter of a given triangle. So first off, what in the world is the circumcenter? All right, so I want you, I'm just going to draw a random triangle here. So let's say that we're looking at this triangle here. And if we're trying to find the circumcenter, the definition of the circumcenter says that the circumcenter is the center of a triangle's um, circumcircle. So what that looks like, so we know that a triangle has three sides, it has three points here. So point one, point two, point three here. So if you were to take these three points here, and this isn't going to look exact here, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of what this is doing here. If we were to draw a circle connecting all three of these points, right, so like this is a horrible example here, right? But if I were to draw a circle, kind of like I have here, connecting all three of those uh, vertices of the triangle, the, circum uh, the circumcenter is directly the middle of that circle that forms when we do that. So that's what we're doing when we're finding the circumcenter of a triangle. Based off the triangle, we're trying to find that point there, that center of the circle, without going as far as actually drawing the circle out and worrying about that. There's a way to do it without actually graphing the circle. So we're going to go through two examples on how to find that. So we're going to take a look at example A first. So if we take a look at example A, so first let me label our, point, our points here. So uh, we know our origin here. So let's see, one point of our triangle goes down one, two, three, four. So this is a negative four down there. And we have a negative one, two, three, four, five, six off over here um, for our triangle here. So what you do is you want to take uh, your non-hypotenuse sides of your triangle. So this is the hypotenuse of the triangle. So I'm not going to be looking at that side. I'm talking about our straight uh, sides over here that form the right angle. And what you want to do is you want to find the halfway point for that. So if I'm taking a look at this line here, right? So this line is one, two, three, four, five, six units long. I want to chop that in half. So half of six is three. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw a line uh, that is perpendicular to your y-axis. So literally, so one, two, three, this is halfway across. I'm going to draw a straight line splitting that directly down the middle. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, but half of six is three, and I'm going to draw a line directly cutting that. Do the same thing for the other side. So for this side here, this is one, two, three, four units long. We want to chop that in half. Half of four is two. So down over here at the two, I'm now going to draw a straight line that runs parallel to the x-axis. Okay. So when we do this, we've created two new lines. We have this line over here, right, and then this line over here. So that point of intersection, this point right over here where those two cross, that is our circumcenter. Okay, so if we take a look, this is our point. This would be the center of our circle. So what we need to do is we need to actually pick out that point from our graph. Uh, so remember that a point is made up of an X and a Y value. So we need to plug in our X and our Y value for our given point here. So we're talking about right over here. So the X value is your left or right movement. So that's going to the left one, two, three times. So that's a negative three for X. And then we're going down one, two times. So that's a negative two for Y. All right, and that's our circumcenter. It's, really not that bad trying to figure out if they don't have it completely drawn out for you definitely draw that out make sure that you label everything but again just take those two sides cut them in half draw your two lines and that point where they cross is your circumcenter so maybe practice a little bit doing that now example b 
they gave us three points. So I'm assuming these are the three vertices of our triangle. So they didn't give us a drawing with this one, which means we're going to have to do a little bit of art here and get this drawn out. So point A is negative 7, 6. So let me go ahead and draw this out. So negative 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's a positive 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It looks like that would be around right over here. That's my A. B is a 3, negative 5. So 3 is 1, 2, 3. And negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is going to be a pretty big triangle. There's B. Um, and C is going to be negative 7, negative 5. So negative 7, negative 5. Looks like it's going to be around here. And connect your dots and draw your triangles. So let's see. It's going to look something like that. There's our triangle. So again, we're going to ignore the hypotenuse side and we're going for the other, your legs of your triangle here. So if I look at this one here, I'm going to start with this side. Again, I need to figure out how long it is so I can chop it in half. So Technically, so it goes from C to A here, right? So from C to A. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 here, right? Because that was at a 6. This is a 6. This is a negative 5. So from negative 5 to 6, that is 11. So A to C is 11 units long, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now, what's half of 11? Half of 11 is 5.5. Okay, chop that directly in half. So if I go up 5.5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and just a little bit halfway there, so I need to make a straight line all right, that goes through that. So, so that's a 0.5 right over here. Do the same thing for the other side. This side right over here, so from here to here, right, is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 units long from C to B. All right, so 10 units long is what C to B is. We need to chop that in half, which is going to be 5. So just starting from one corner, go 5 out. So that's one, two, three, four, five would bring us right over here. So I'm going to draw my straight line. All right, so I have this line here, and then I have this line here. And where those two lines cross right over here is your circumcenter. So we just need to actually write that out from our graph. So remember, we have our point x, y. So let's see where our x value would be. Our x value looks like it would be a negative 1, negative 2 there is where it's going to be crossing. So negative 2, and then remember it was a 0.5 up. All right, so I know this one's a little bit messy. It's just a little bit different because we had this 11, which didn't perfectly get cut in half, but it's okay. We can definitely do decimals on graphs, right? So half of 11 was the 5.5. You can go from either end. You can go from A and go straight down 5.5, or you can go C and go up 5.5. Just start at either end and count that half. Just like B or C, this was 10 long, half of that is 5, so I can start from C and go 5, or I can start from B and go 5. But where those two lines cross, right over here, that gives us a negative 2 and a 0.5 as our circumcenter. Otherwise, that's it for this video.